everybody, I'm Katie Sauter, still YouTubing, still wedding planning, and still rocking that 9 to 5 engineering desk job we don't talk about here. Today I'm planning on relaxing with y'all and we're going to go into some r slash ask reddit stories. This one is what is the worst thing you've seen at a wedding? I'm excited for this one. I didn't read this one in advance so we'll see what happens. And at the end I'll share one of my own stories because it was special and I think I think I deserve to say what was the worst thing that I saw on a wedding. I don't know about you guys. I'm gonna save that for the end. And again, if we fail to learn anything, which I have a feeling we'll fail to learn anything here, maybe we, maybe I'll be wrong. But if we fail to learn anything, we'll get this solder seal of failure, as always. All right, assuming I remember to do it, because I seem to forget to do that. All right, moving on. Ian River Girl writes, the reception, a guest looked at my cousin's wife and said very loudly, who brought the, oh no, no, I can't, I can't say that word. Who brought the, uh, you know, you know, it's slur, it's a slur. We don't don't say that here. <laughs> The audacity. The audacity. Um, and no, they didn't know her. Rude. That is rude. I was doing wedding photography and definitely saw escorts slash strippers. What? I've never seen that before. One had a fishnet see-through style dress, all black and clearly wearing blue or turquoise panties under it. Another was definitely on meds and roaming around, ended up sitting down at the vendor's table and chatting with us, telling us she didn't like the wedding and doesn't know anyone there. Then asks us, all wearing black who we are there for we're like work <laughs> we're like work we're here for work ma'am <laughs> <laughs> she didn't believe us. Then we showed her our cameras. We didn't care, but it got a bit awkward. Someone's date was sitting next to us. She left pretty soon after that. Seen many groomsmen hit on female photographers and second shooters. Ooh, yeah, I've heard of that happening. Where it's like, yeah, the groomsmen hit on the photographer. Yeah, it, it happens, especially when they get drunk. It's kind of part of the job. It's not the best part of the job, but yeah, a lot of people have harassment clauses in their contracts. Uh, uh, if because you should have everyone should have the right to a safe working place anyway moving on Tian River Girl continues my 90 year old uncle was quite dashing and charming and quite deaf he was also an avid amateur photographer with an eye for beautiful women of all ages Gosh. <laughs> At another cousin's wedding, I have lots of cousins, he couldn't hear anything anyone said to him until he met the very attractive young photographer. Suddenly, he was able to hear every word she said about lenses and lighting and f-stop and obscure antique photography equipment. Oh, that's funny though. That is funny because I just see like this little old man who can't hear anything and he's like, Gibe? Gibe? Two? Gibe two? It's G-I-B-E. I don't, I don't know. Gibe? Gibe? Gibe two? says outdoor summer wedding in texas the groom's 90 plus year old grandmother died during the reception they found out when she couldn't be roused for family photos no oh i don't even know what i would do oh i yeah i really don't know what i would do if that happened at a wedding i i mean that would be so devastating but like that one probably wins for worse things to happen at a wedding the trub writes grandma 94 texas summer 104 texas summer wins oh that's Dark. I mean, at least she was to she lived to to see the wedding and the ceremony. At least there's that. Through panic, 3368 writes, it was an overcast day. Had rain earlier, but weather was clearing up. Bride and groom went to take some photos after the ceremony. A kid, probably six or seven, unsupervised, ran up to a puddle. The bride was carefully walking past and jumped in it. Her dress had mud splatter all the way up to her shoulder. I felt so bad for her. Oh my gosh. Rider Rider 1592.5, right? I cannot even fathom the level of rage I would have fallen into if I had been that bride. Oh boy, nobody at the wedding would have ever seen me that mad. Yeah. <laughs> God for Photoshop. That's all I can say. Oh boy, yeah, yeah. So, you know, ki kids are unpredictable. Um, it's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't want to have kids at a wedding. Pure Deed Brilliant writes: 
Oh God, that's not a good beginning. <laughs> My boyfriend's oldest brother's wedding. One of his mates got plastered, lost control of his bowels, and shat himself in a hilt. Picture the scene on a dance floor at a working man's club in Glasgow. A drunken 40-something standing by himself in an ever-expanding circle of people looking at him in horror whilst an equally expanding puddle of shit yeah, gathers on the floor, on his calves, on his shoes, yeah, yeah. Edit to add, my boyfriend remembered something which I totally had forgotten. When the S, uh, when the, when it began to hit the floor, the groom looked over, saw what was happening, and shouted, for F's sake, Mick, get to the effing toilet. The drunken S, oh. <laughs> oh, he wailed back. Ah, can he move? It's coming out too fast. It's coming out too fast. It's coming out too fast. Oh, the boyfriend compared it to watching a cow laying out a cow pet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another person wrote, I was at a colleague's wedding and we were all on the dance floor giving it large when a stench hits us. We all backed off except one woman who kept going with liquid, no, was dripping down her legs. Ah. And someone else wrote, unfortunately this was my mother-in-law but not at a wedding, it was a restaurant. I have never apologized so profusely to anyone in my life. The poor staff who had to clean up after her and were so very, very nice to me and I told them what happened. Happened. My mother-in-law had no idea and said to me when we got home her pants were wet and she had no idea why. Oh, it sounds like there's something else going on there, like some dementia. I don't even know. I would just be mortified. I can't believe like that one woman just kept going or the good guy. Like, it's like, oh no. I don't think, I feel like that would be one of those things that you would just be embarrassed about for the rest of your life. Like you would not be able to lift that one down ever. I, I don't, oh my God. That sounds like something that would be on Jamila Jamil's Bad Dates podcast. <laughs> She has a lot of poop stories. <laughs> I have not one but two freebies in the link below. I got frustrated by other planners' incomplete planning timelines, so I created my own. I wanted to kind of complete the story and add some tips on every page so that you can help plan your wedding much, much easier without all the stress and missing things like the cake top, for example. I feel like the cake topper is kind of easy to forget. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. So it's a complete timeline for wedding planning. And it also comes with a mini guide on being part of a wedding party and how to do that well. Years ago, before I became a wedding planner, I was a bridesmaid for the first time and I had no idea what that meant or what went into it. And nor did I have like a lot of time on my hands to actually like look into what I needed to do. So a free guide like this would have been really helpful for me at that point. Anyway, if that sounds like you uh, in either of those situations, check out my link in the description below. Another person, Avi Bearwright. The pastor went through and updated the bride's name in her script, but didn't accurately change the script for the groom. Sometimes he was John, others Matt, occasionally Mike. The groom said, the groom had to say, my name is Steve. When the pastor said, repeat after me, I, David, thank you. My name is Steve. Oh, that's so hard. That does not. That doesn't sound like that pastor actually like officiates many weddings. Someone wrote, my maiden name is a common man's first name, like Jennifer James. They just got mixed up and said, I, Jennifer, take you James to be my husband. I realized right away and said, I, Jennifer, take you Michael to be my husband. It got a laugh from the crowd. I was glad for the break because my husband's eyes were getting all watery and it was making me start to cry, which I didn't want to. So it helped us not to cry from emotions. That one's kind of funny. That one's kind of wholesome. Okay. Next story, Neil144 Right, outdoor wedding, bride gently fed wedding cake to her new husband. Groom shoved cake at his new bride's face so hard that it broke one of her teeth. It broke one of her teeth? He kept pushing her until she tripped and fell over backwards. She broke her wrist when she tried to stop the fall. There was blood dripping from her mouth. The groom's father then began to beat the living daylights out of his own son. Good times. Oh my gosh. 
blood ripping from her no a broken wrist this is why i don't like violent like i personally do not like it when the bride and groom get violent also you're wearing an expensive dress or an expensive pucks what if it gets ruined or like it, i know you wear these things like once but it just feels just feels wrong just feels i just don't like the violent it should be nice and delicate you're sweet you're loving i don't know i mean you do you but i prefer i prefer the the cute cute thing anyway for those inquiring if the couple is still married that's a good question to ask <laughs> we were staying overnight at the small bed and breakfast at which the wedding took place the mother of the bride invited us and some other hotel guests to the wedding and reception we have no idea what happened after that day someone just uh boople snoot 8772 wrote charging two dollars for a piece of the wedding cake worst thing they've ever seen i, I mean that's not great i would never charge two dollars for a piece of cake that is super cheap this isn't the first time we've seen something ultra cheap on this this particular show but um I, I think like this one's pretty mild compared to the other ones still i would not be happy if i was charged two dollars for a piece of wedding cake if i was a guest here i be writes late to the party but this has to be shared bride used old film strips from movie edits cast offs for decor in the table centerpieces flowers and film strips at a quirky fun wedding looked great, right? She had picked up the box for free and didn't really look at it. Some of the strips were from shockly sci-fi nonsense. Most of them were porn. <laughs> She's holding a bouquet of, of sex. Oh god. <laughs> that is funny. An account that's been deleted, but like their comments still exists, wrote, at the after party, the groom spent the whole night watching a basketball game on TV at the bar. Couldn't even be bothered to turn around and say hi to any of the guests. Just sat there at the bar, eyes fixed to the TV the whole time. When it was time for him to make a speech, he just said, you know, this was supposed to be a special day, but my team lost. So I effing hate it. Off all of you. This sucks. Needless to say, that marriage lasted all of a week or two. <laughs> Oh no! Blonde inside and out wrote, My youngest sister's wedding, one of my sister's friends was wearing quite a short summer dress. She spent the evening sitting in a manner that let it be known that she wasn't wearing any underwear. Yeah, how do you let it be known that you're not wearing any underwear? That's kind of, maybe I'm too innocent. Maybe I just don't understand. I don't know. She waited till someone looked in her direction, pulled up her dress and spread her legs. Very disturbing, especially given the number of children running around. No. Why don't, what's wrong with people? I, there's, even if there weren't children around, like I don't wanna see it. <laughs> I don't. My five foot nothing, 200 pound aunt drunkenly stumbled around her sister's wedding, pulling up her skirt and asking who wanted to see her taco. The people in my family should not drink. Oh, this, this whole thing has gotten really vulgar. So I was at a wedding. It was Halloween themed. It was really cool. Everyone was wearing black except for the bride, of course. And, uh, which was super neat. However, they hired a friend for the DJ. And I would never recommend hiring a friend for a DJ. Personally, I feel like a professional is probably your best bet. This guy said he refused to announce anyone in and the bride and groom had expected him to announce people in, but that wasn't the worst part. The worst part was that as the bride started to walk down the aisle, ads started to play over the speakers. We found out he was playing YouTube. He was playing music from YouTube for the bride and groom. And then when they walk out, like the bride kind of looked like while she was walking down the aisle, she was like, by the way, I did not plan this wedding. I, I assisted. I was an assistant at this wedding. So the groom, um, the bride and groom, like kind of just laughed it off. It was like, what else can you do? But um, on their way to walk out, the, the DJ then started to play Heathens by 21 Pilots. And I don't know about you, but that's not a romantic song. And it also wasn't the song that they had requested. And it was just a disaster. But really, the, the worst thing was the was that he played a YouTube. He needed YouTube for their music that they had requested to walk down the aisle. So an ad was playing when she walked down the aisle and he couldn't skip it. It was an unskippable YouTube ad. Today we are entering the mesmerizing world of CGI marketing when imagination knows no bounds. Me and the coordinator just looked at each other like, 
and she's like, this isn't normal. This isn't normal. And I'm like, thank goodness. And then he played music way too loud, way too loud during the uh, actual like dinner. It was so bad. The music was so loud that people actually had to like, they actually had to leave the reception in order to talk to each other. Mm. Like once the dancing started, it was fine. But by that point, most of the guests had left because they were just tired of having to shout. So. Anyway, a good DJ is worth every penny. All right, did we learn anything? Yeah, hire a uh, hire professionals and um, yeah, hire a professional DJ. That's the only thing I can think of that was a good takeaway. Everything else failed. <laughs> it failed to teach us anything. It got the solder seal of failure for sure. And as a quick reminder, I have a few freebies linked in the description below for planning timeline and a wedding party mini guide. If you enjoy this, you might also enjoy some crazy like photo booth rage wedding planner video that I have like over here. Check this out. You don't want to miss it. And as always, give that like button a sweet little butterfly kiss and tenderly embrace that subscribe button. Keep it PG for me, okay?